the Mahavidyas? And how are they relevant to our lives or to our spiritual practice? Mahavidyas are 10 forms of the Divine Feminine, the Great Shakti. And they are called Mahavidyas because they represent 10 great cosmic forces and they are the 10 great goddesses of cosmic wisdom. Take Dhumavati for instance. If you looked at a picture of Dhumavati, you may seriously question how she may be relevant to your life or to your practice. Dhumavati, you may recall, is this uncouth, emaciated goddess who has supposedly swallowed Shiva. And then there is Chinamasta, the goddess who stands with her own severed head in her hands, and she stands upon this couple. And then, of course, there is the famous Kali, the dark goddess with the very dark skin and the wild hair and the garland of heads and the skirt of arms who happens to be standing upon Shiva in a cemetery. In addition to representing physical or cosmic forces such as time and space, these goddesses also represent the various aspects that go into making up our limited identity. They hold not just the force of limitation, but also the keys to liberation from such limitations. <laughs> 